Okay, so today I woke up. Everything seemed like it was gonna be normal. I got up, I took a shower, combed my hair, took my meds, walked my dog, took my motorcycle to work. Easy peasy, right? So I get to work, make my morning coffee as per the usual, run my Keurig, French vanilla creamer, a little bit of sugar, you know, the right way to make it. So I get to work, I go into the office, I make my coffee as per the usual, and right as I'm sitting down, to check my emails. I dumped the entire cup of coffee all over my keyboard and my laptop. As soon as I did it, I knew I was screwed. So I just turned it off and propped it upside down and contacted IT. My computer got overnight shipped, it'll be there tomorrow. But that was the start of my Monday morning. So we're going a little off script today. I didn't have time. But what we are gonna do is we're gonna go through all of my little knickknacks in here in my recording closet slash studio, uh, close studio, in my closet slash studio. So let's actually just get started with this side. So this little dinosaur dude here, I uh, found when I was a kid, like six or seven years old, and I've carried it with me ever since. It didn't go to boot camp with me, but it was with me in the schoolhouse when I was at Pendleton. It's just followed me around everywhere. This is Diddy Kong. Um, I've had him since I was a kid, too. I had a uh, shoebox full of just random knickknacks and stuff uh, that I had shipped to me when I lived in Pendleton from my childhood bedroom. That's what basically all this stuff down here is. This model Ryanair airplane that's so old it's yellowed. I went on vacation in Maine and visited the Nubble White House. So I was probably like 10, 10 years old maybe. Statue of Liberty and the Twin Towers. Uh, I visited them after they fell. This right here is special. This very noisy model car. The first time I ever had Rat Dick Ralph over to my house, he gave me this as a present. So it sits here. This next shelf gets a little more interesting. Uh, I bought this at a random store near Beaverton, Oregon. It's a Jerry's India Pale Ale. Uh, I can't drink it because I'm allergic to beer, but I transported it all the way back here to San Diego and it's sat on the shelf ever since. These were the first two containers of wax that I bought after I exited the Marine Corps. So they're special to me. This is an old rusty buck knife that is very poorly taken care of that I got when I was a kid from my uncle. The rest of the shelf is Marine Corps related. This pin is the pin they gave me when I graduated boot camp and became a Marine. So it's obviously very special to me. It's not really a pin. It's a uniform piece that screws on the back. These are my dog tags from my service. Uh, I'm not gonna show them up close because I've got all my information on them. I'm no positive blood if you were curious. No, you can't have my kidney. This is a 5.56 that I still have. Um, yeah, this is Smith & Wesson 40. I have a box of these and no gun to shoot it with, so uh, I just keep around here because it looks cool. This is my plaque, which I am going to read. Jerry, Lance Corporal Senecal. And then there's a PSC Chevron and a Lance Corporal Chevron squared because I got demoted. Honestly, Jerry, I think we were all in agreement that we were genuinely surprised that you made it to the end of your enlistment alive and with an honorable status. After four long years here at Camp Pendleton Calibrations, it certainly has taken a physical and mental toll on you, but you triumphantly prevailed. This, of course, excluding ruining three marriages, one NJP, going zero to one in court martials, nine vehicles, seven 6105s, infinite negative counselings, spending your entire enlistment as the same two ranks twice, five speeding tickets, one benign tumor, and of course your staggering 
1,468 pages of Alta notes that could probably stop a 556. Your outward sarcastic belligerency will most likely never be rivaled by another calibrator, and your Kesha-filled playlists soiling our atmosphere will be missed. When you weren't boasting about your hash mark and PFC pairing or destroying traffic cones down Warehouse Road, you were a pretty good tech in an even better shitbag. We wish you the best with your family and your future endeavors outside of the corpse. Fair wind and following seas. There's a lot of military jargon in that, but um, if you get it, you get it. And right underneath here, it is a copy of my DD-214. This is a sign that says Company Gunnery Sergeant. Now, the Company Gunnery Sergeant usually gets one of these signs and puts it above the door to his office. I acquired one. I also have this sign here that says Women. Um, I don't know where I got it from, but it looks old, so I kept it. Here is another little knickknack from my childhood. It's a little astronaut that I've had since I was a kid. My son got a bunch of Hot Wheels for his birthday this year, and one of them was a Honda Civic Type R, so I stole it. A nice sign that says, I can't adult today. And these are just various containers that I've gotten weed in that were cool enough for me to think, oh, I should put them up there. And of course, my pride and joy, the Anarchist Cookbook. So I got this on Amazon. It's not something hard to get. I like it. There's a lot of good information in here, uh, really, actually, like a lot of good information, and I encourage you all buy one. The lighting up here is a little weird because this sign is very realistic even though it's a uh, replica. It is not a California Highway 330 sign. I bought this on Wish.com for $5. These are all three series of the Nelt Boys uh, rolling papers, so yeah. This is a license plate from when I was in Mississippi. And there's a license plate, old license plate off my motorcycle. It license plate number has changed, so this is done for in 2015. So you can go look it up, it won't come up with anything. This is a full series of Clippers lighters. So like each series they have comes with four designs and I got all four designs of a particular series. This is my Bong graveyard. Uh, this is the first bong I ever had. It could probably be fixed uh, or cleaned and it would be fine. This bong I broke. It's a beaker bong. I broke in the bottom, so it's fucked. So I've been doing the same thing and writing uh, labels around it. This is the bong I broke recently. This is a Marine Corps issued safari hat. Your EGA would go right here. It's for uh, coaches on the range. And then I just have bits of my motorcycle from when I got in the hit and run up here, so. That's basically it. So first thing that there is to really point out is this uh, counter right here with all my stuff on it. So this is like my space where I hang out. Uh, I edit on my iPad right here. Like this is where I relax, this is where I smoke, this is where I do all of my YouTube stuff basically. Um, I have the soundproofing up on both sides. It really helps with the echo. I have that mirror right there. That's actually the mirror I use in the morning to get ready. I have my brush and stuff over here. Those free prostitute cards that they hand out in Vegas, I collected a bunch of them one time and taped them up here because I think it looks cool and I get to do whatever the hell I want. If you notice all the sticky notes, these are all like things that I want. These are like script ideas, vlog ideas. These go more into depth with them. I, uh, cause this is my working space. This is where I try to write and do everything at this bench right here. Uh, I sticker bombed this part of it for no real reason, just for my own comfort. I like it. I think it looks cool. What an absolutely disgusting view. Anyways, this is half of this cool little bench vanity that I have here. Uh, this room is where I do everything. Like I was pointing out my script ideas. This is where I edit my videos on my iPad. Uh, this is, I mean, this is where I keep my gong. I also smoke in the rest of my house too. But um, yeah, it's dirty. Don't worry about it. My weed. This ashtray is pretty fucking cool. I've taken labels from different dispensaries that I've smoked from and posted them on here. And then I put some clear tape over it and it's a giant ashtray. This is the weed that I'm smoking right now. Uh, this is Goji OG and this stuff is Lemon OG. Uh, these are my daily meds. Just a bunch of random stuff. This is like a spare weed jar, like I just throw scraps in there, I guess. This pen I made in a uh, wood turning course that I took in my, 
outpatient program when I was in the Marine Corps. This is just a Sharpie I used to take notes with, my full set of rolling tray, and papers, a roller, some clipper letters, a random shotgunning tool. This one's even worse. Uh, over here, I don't know, I have incense, white sage, a coin jar, incense burner, my tablet, random uh, camera accessories. Uh, this thing holds my iPad when I'm filming, you can't even really see it, but it comes out right here. This, uh,